So for a high yield clinical exam with the upper extremity, we can have the patient start with raising his arms over his head, checking abduction, active range of motion. Go ahead and repeat that to check some muscle strength. Good. Then we'll be checking flexion. And again, muscle strength and flexion. And then extension. Always looking for symmetry, pushback, checking muscle and ex extension. And external and internal rotation. External rotation, internal rotation, looking for asymmetry. And since this was his area of complaint, we're going to check external rotation. At this point, you can also check for apprehension in this motion with some anterior pressure. If they start to feel like their shoulder is going to come out, they start to guard, that's a sign of laxity. Internal rotation, passive range of motion. While we're here, check the SC for motion and check the AC for motion and external and internal rotation. Next we will do special tests to check for supraspinatus. We'll have the patient pull his arms out to the side, thumbs down, in about a 45 degree plane. I'll show it on this left and you resist this motion. That's going to check for supraspinatus. You can check for impingement with Hawkins sign. Arm at 90 degrees, 90 degrees, internally rotate. Looking for pain, it's a positive sign for impingement. Palpate the AC joint for tenderness. Check with the cross body test for any tenderness related to AC joint pathology. And finally, we can, we can check some tender points in the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor and subscapularis regions.